The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you, partially transcribed, by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers of Velveeta the famous pasteurized processed cheese food that tastes so good and is so good for you. Velveeta is another of the Kraft family of fine foods. Foods you can depend on for delicious eating, for wholesome, healthy eating. So remember, to get the pasteurized processed cheese food of quality, get Velveeta made only by Kraft. Well, it's getting close to the first of the month, the time when a great many people start worrying about their bills. But to Summerfield's water commissioner, it's the time when he starts worrying about how Mayor Terwilliger will receive his monthly water report. Well, that's it, Mr. Mayor. All 19 pages of it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> hey, what do you think, Your Honor? It's an excellent report, Gildersleeve. Well, thank you. I checked it very carefully. And there's not a single misspelled word. Very commendable. And the addition seems to be unusually accurate. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Last month, if I recall, 7 and 12 made 10. <laughs> I can explain that, Mr. Mayor. I added the number of the page to something we bought on the 10th of the month. Uh, uh, yes, I see. You'll notice this month that I've kept the expenses down. The water commissioner doesn't let the city's money leak through his fingers. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, Gildersleeve, this is a very good report. Thank you. With one exception. Oh? This month I notice our consumers haven't used as much water. Well... The revenue has fallen off. How do you account for it? Well, it's there for them to use. I can lead a customer to water, but I can't make him drink. (laughs) Yes, but you're the city water commissioner. I depend on you to keep things humming. After all, it's city revenue that pays your salary. Let's look to it, Gildersleeve. Well, I thought I had a good report, Mr. Mayor. Grammatically, yes. Financially, no. Good day. (laughs) Goodbye, Mr. Mayor. Darn little powder pigeon. He couldn't find anything wrong with my report. So he's blaming me because people don't use more water. Mr. Gildersleeve? Who say there's Bronco? Come in, Bronco. Oh, how are you this morning? Great, my boy. How are Marjorie and the twins? Oh, fine. Couldn't be better. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Oh, no. Glad to see a friendly face. Uh, Sit down. (laughs) Thank you. Mr. Gildersleeve, I have a business opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Oh? Yeah, it's something so good it can't wait. Well. I said to myself, Bronco, let's keep this in the family. So I'm letting you in on the ground floor. Good. You have a cigar. <laughs> no, thanks. But if you go in with me, you'll be smoking cigars a block long. Oh, I like the ring of this, Bronco. What's your proposition? Well, I'm going to put bottled water into every home in Summerfield. <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Gildersleeve? Hey, can I get you some water? No, no, thanks. I just could hardly believe what I heard. Bottled water, you say? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, I formed the Babbling Brook Water Company. I'm offering a few shares to my family and friends. Bronco, do you realize what you're doing? Yes, sir. I'm going to make some money. And I'd like to cut you in. But I'm the city water commissioner. You don't expect me to go into competition with myself. Oh, Mr. Gildersleeve, every city of any size has a bottled water company. And besides, what would people say if a relative of the water commissioner started selling water? Well, they'd say, I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Bronco, my boy, I've been in water for some time. Let me give you some good advice. Stay out of it. Oh? Furnishing water for the public is a thankless job. The mayor was just in here talking about it. And my department isn't making any money. Oh, but I'm going to run this on a business-like basis. Oop. (laughs) Bronco, you're probably just tired of your real estate job. You think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence? Well, Listen to an older head. Give it plenty of thought, Bronco. And then forget it. 
<laughs> well, see, I'll talk to a few more people, and if they agree with you, I'll give it up. Good boy. Yeah, I always say, look before you leap, especially where water's concerned. <laughs> well, thanks for your advice, Mr. Gildersleeve. You don't mention it, my boy. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 <laughs> I'm glad I corked up the bottled water business. Well, it hasn't been a bad day. I got out my water report and got rid of some competition. Yes, sir, I think I'll stop in at Peavy's and replenish my cigar supply. Hello, Peavy. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. What can I do for you this afternoon? Yeah, I'm going over to Leela's tonight, and I'd like to take some cigars. Yeah, well, what kind does she smoke? <laughs> you know they're for me, Peavy. I'll take a couple of El Lobos. Very well. That ambitious son-in-law of yours was in today. The Bronco? Oh, fine boy. Yes, he is. He was in to see me this morning. Came to me for advice. My, my. Bronco had what he thought was a clever scheme for making money. But fortunately, he came to me first, and I steered him off the idea. And he must have got another idea. Oh? He sold me some shares in a new company he's forming. Oh, what's he in now? Water. Water? <laughs> the stuff you used to sell in pipes before he thought of selling it in bottles. <laughs> what do you mean, used to sell? Well, I just figure we'll be getting the trade from now on. Who's we, Peavy? The astute stockholders who got in on the Babbling Brook Water Company. Oh, my goodness. I plan to put it in here at the fountain. Peavy, you use a lot of water. That's what I say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you don't watch it, I may take my business to Beckman's. Well, I may start trading at Beckman's myself. <laughs> what? When the water business gets rolling, I may sell the pharmacy and just clip coupons. Peavy, you don't know it, but you're the one who got clipped. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that a conservative businessman and a good friend like Peavy going into that bottled water deal. Oh, well, I'm going to forget it. I just... Hey, what's this on the floor? Leroy's piggy bank broken open. Is that you, Unc? Hello, Leroy. Did you drop your piggy bank on the floor? Heck no, I threw it on the floor. What? I want to get some money in a hurry. I'm not going to pass up any big deals. I'm in the water business. You bought some of Bronco's stock, too? Two shares of the ground floor. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's an investment in my future, Unc. By the time I'm out of high school, I'll have a lot of money. Yes, yes. I suppose you think you'll have enough to put you through college. Heck no. I'll have so much you won't have to go to college. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy, what's Bronco been telling you? Nothing. He shouldn't have sold you any stock. He didn't want to. I talked him into it. How many shares have you got, Unc? Absolutely none. Wouldn't he let you buy any? <laughs> Wouldn't he let me buy any? I was the first one offered a chance. Muffed it, huh? <laughs> no. Bronco came to my office with his water stock first thing this morning, and I turned him down. Oh, I get it. Afraid of what the mayor would say. Of course not. I just use good business judgment, that's all. The fact that I'm in charge of the mayor's water department had nothing to do with it. <laughs> hey. Young man. Excuse me, Uncle. I've got to go see the neighbors. Why are you going to go see them? Oh. Use our bottled water. Oh, that boy. I didn't think anybody in this family would be silly enough to go into competition with me. That's you, Miss Gilbert. Yes, Bertie. I thought that was you. I sure am glad you're home. I want to ask your advice about something. Oh? Mr. Bronco has some stock for sale in the Babbling Brook Water Company. Well, I'm glad somebody came to me for advice before buying it. Oh, I already bought it. <laughs> I just want to buy buy some more. Bertie, I'm surprised at you. I didn't think you'd buy a gold brick. <laughs> What's wrong with buying a gold brick if you can buy it cheap enough? <laughs> well... Mr. Gilsey, don't tell me you don't have some of this stock. I do not. Bertie, I work for the city. Yes, sir, but you don't want to work for them forever, do you? Bertie, don't get carried away. 
<laughs> no, sir. But when Bertie hears opportunity knocking at the door, she opens it. Yes, sir, Bertie says, come in, opportunity, and sit a while. <laughs> yes, yes. I sure am surprised that you didn't open the door to opportunity, Mr. Kelsey. But, Bertie, I'm the water commissioner. Yes, sir, but if you open the door to opportunity, you can be the water, bottle water commissioner. Uh, all right, Bertie. Yes, sir, you're just the water commissioner now, but you could be the bottle water commissioner. Uh, Bertie, please. Mr. Gilsey, you know what you could be if you open the door to opportunity? Yes, but... That's right, you could be the bottle water commissioner. <laughs> Yeah, all right, Leela. Don't you get tired waiting and run off now. Don't worry, you can't get rid of me. Yeah, what a girl. If I did try to slip out, I'll bet she'd tackle me at the gate. Why, <laughs> right, George, this is a pretty nice place to come when the little family turns against me. Yeah, imagine them buying that stock. If I married Leela and moved over here, they'd be sorry. I wonder if I'd be too... Here I come. Good. Well, Leela, sounds like you have a new dress. How do I look? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Rock Martin, you say the most complimentary thing. You well, your dress is very pretty. Care to sit down? Or can you? <laughs> do you think it's too snug? Oh, no. No use wasting material. <laughs> Let's sit here on the love seat. Love it. There. Yeah, right, George Leela. There's something about a woman in satin. <laughs> well, I'll admit I'm a little overdressed if we aren't going anywhere. Are we? <laughs> if you don't mind, let's stay home this evening. I don't mind, but I did want you to see my dress. Pretty. <laughs> and then, of course, a girl never knows when her bow might take her out. It's been a trying day. Leela, you haven't been approached by Bronco, have you? What about? He's organizing a bottled water company. I declare, I hadn't heard about that. Well, it's a good thing I came over to warn you. He's selling stock to his friends around town. Keep the padlock on your purse, Leela. Oh, I don't know the first thing about buying stock. Yeah, neither does Leroy. But he's got some. Leroy? He's invested in two shares, and he thinks he'll be independently wealthy before he's out of high school. Good gracious. And Bertie's sold on it. She is? It's funny how gullible some people are. Even Peavy bought in. But Mr. Peavy's such a conservative businessman. Yeah, that's what I've always thought. But now he's thinking of selling the drugstore and retiring. Really? Oh, Trot Martin, you ought dear to tell me all this. Well, I, I thought you ought to know. Goodness, yes. Excuse me while I phone Bronco before all that stock's gone. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm selling his stock. <laughs> Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. You'd be surprised at what wonderful things you can do for your menu with a little imagination and Velveeta, Kraft's famous pasteurized processed cheese food. You can melt this golden cheese food for a marvelous smooth cheese sauce that you can use dozens of interesting ways. Velveeta sauce can glamorize your vegetables, turn leftovers into brand new tempting dishes, Make a club sandwich into a party treat. That golden sauce can make a variety of economical main dishes to help your budget. However you use this Velveeta sauce, you'll have dishes that really taste wonderful because Velveeta has such a grand, rich, yet mild cheddar cheese flavor. And you'll have dishes that are extra nourishing because Velveeta is rich in those important food values from milk that every member of your family needs. Make this wonderful Velveeta sauce often. It's easy. All you do is melt a half pound of Velveeta in the top of your double boiler. Then stir in a third of a cup of milk, season, and there it is. Let Velveeta be your handy helper for all kinds of nourishing, delicious treats that can make your menus more interesting, more satisfying. Get a two-pound loaf of Velveeta tomorrow. 
Just be sure you get genuine Velveeta, the quality cheese food that's made only by Kraft. Well, our water commissioner took a dim view of Bronco's new bottled water company, but now that his family and friends all own stock, the great Gildersleeve begins to feel a little left out. Yeah, I ran into Judge Hooker, and it seems he's invested in Bronco's new business too, Bertie. Yes, sir. Yeah, he probably had a roll of two-dollar bills buried in the backyard. Yes, sir. That judge is a smart man. You changed your mind about the Babbling Brook Company yet, Miss Gildersleeve? Oh, no. Just because all my family and friends are climbing on the bandwagon doesn't mean I have to. No, sir. But the first tune we're going to play on that bandwagon is, We're in the money, uh, we're but, in the money. Hey, Bertie. We got a lot of what it takes to get a lot. Oh, all right, Bertie. <laughs> Mr. Gilsey, you better get on Mr. Bronco's bandwagon. Hey, Bertie, that doesn't worry me one bit. The thing that concerns me is whether or not I offended Bronco by refusing when he first offered me the stock. Yes, sir. After all, he married my niece, and I really should encourage the boy. Yes, sir. The charitable thing for me to do is to go buy the rest of his stock just to help him along. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bronco? No, oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleep. I'm on the phone right now. I'll be with you in just a minute. Here, go right ahead, my boy. I'll wait. Yeah, hello, Mr. Mumford. Yeah, well, as I was saying, uh, we appreciate what the ban uh, banks offer to do, uh, but frankly, we have all the money we need to get started. Uh oh. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, uh, we're raising it from private sources. Yeah, maybe there's still a chance. Hang up, Bronco. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mumford. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Oh yes, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, Bronco. Uh, do you want to hang up your hat? No, I'll hold it in my hand. Uh, Bronco. I've been thinking about your offer the other day, and I hope you aren't offended because I turned it down uh, temporarily. No, no. Now you have your right to your opinion as a businessman. You've made the decision. I'm sure you're happy with it. You, well, no, let's put it this way. I have an obligation to you as a relative. Well, Mr. Gildersleeve... Yes, I do. The same as you have an obligation to me. Well, that's why I didn't force the stock on you. Yeah, well, try it again. Uh, what? You don't give up, Bronco. You'll never get anywhere that way. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gildersleeve, but I've raised the necessary capital. You have? Uh, but if things continue as they're going, we may want to expand. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you. Yeah, thank you very much, Bronco. I'll appreciate anything you can do. <laughs> certainly thinks highly of Bronco's company. Yeah, I should have taken the stock when it was first offered. Why should I worry about what the mayor thinks? Yeah, I guess my only chance is to find a friend who'll sell me part of his. You know, I'll have to be cagey about this. Hello, Phoebe. Well, hello, Mr. Gunner's name. What's on your mind? Oh, nothing. Just thought I'd drop in. Yeah, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe, we've been friends for a long time. Yes, it seems like a long time. <laughs> you bet. We're jolly boys together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a customer of yours. Mm -hmm. I guess there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. And uh, nothing you wouldn't do for me. Ring out. What are you getting at, Mr. Gildersleeve? No, oh, nothing, nothing at all. I was just saying that friendship is friendship. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. It makes it easier to discuss something with you that's been on my mind ever since I bought Bronco's stock. Oh? Hot dog. Uh, go ahead, Petey. Now, this is confidential, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, my, yes. I'm wondering if you'd care to make a little investment. <laughs> He's playing right into my hand. <laughs> go ahead, Petey. Well, you know, I bought quite a chunk of that bottled water company. A lot of it, huh? How can I help you out? When it starts to pay off, how would you like to buy my drugstore? Oh! Fine dinner, Bertie. Thank you, Mr. Gilsey. More coffee? Well... You better have 
have some luck if you're going out again tonight. Well, I thought I might stay home. You say Bronco's coming over this evening? Yeah, he's delivering birdies in my stock. Oh, yes, the birdie's sure looking forward to that. She's going to have a stock full of stock. Fine. Hey, Unc, you know what Bronco says? Every shareholder's a partner in the company. Oh, well, that's right, isn't it? We get to vote on everything the company does. You do? Say, has there been any talk of taking in any new partners? Unc's dying to get in, Bertie. <laughs> well, that's the way it is with a good thing. Everybody wants in too late. Well, I admit I made a mistake. But still, if you two have voting stock, you may be able to help me. Yeah? At your first meeting, you might see if you can vote some shares for me. Okay. Bertie, let's hold a board of directors meeting. You and me? <laughs> this director ought to be washing dishes. Ah, stick around. Members of the board, we will now consider admitting Thought Norton P. Gillisleeve as a partner in the company. Leroy, I'm serious about this. So am I. I'm just getting to the voting. All in favor of letting them in, say aye. 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 Well, I'm glad there are two people who vote for me. There's only one trouble, Unc. What? I can't vote until I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, all you have are two shares anyway. But Bertie's over 21. <laughs> yes, sir, slightly. <laughs> Bertie, you might use your influence. You can count on me, Mr. Gillsleeve. Good. Yeah, how'd you like to take the day off tomorrow and talk to Bronco for me? The whole day off? You bet. Yeah, I know you've been saving your money, and a good word put in by a big shareholder might swing it. Yes, sir. By the way, how many shares have you? One. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm going in the parlor. Sorry I can't help you, Unc. Well, that's all right. doesn't mean that much to me. Is the paper in the parlor, Bertie? Yes, sir, right on the couch. Yeah, I'm going to forget about that stock. Yeah, I don't care if I don't have any. I... Yeah. 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 I think I'll stretch out. Pretty big dinner. Yeah. No, I don't care. What if I am the only member of the family who doesn't have stock? Well, put it out of your mind, Gildersleeve. Yeah. Even Leela has stock. Yeah. In the judge. In the TV. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. 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 Hey, there's a lot of water out here. I wonder who owns the yacht. Hello, Leela. What are you doing standing out here in the middle of the water? Are you hitchhiking? I don't know how I got out here. Well, come aboard, silly. Yeah, thank you. You're very kind, Leela. Oh, Leela doesn't forget her old friends when they're on their uppers. Well? Frog Martin, what ever happened to your job as water commissioner? Oh, I'm still hanging on. But the mayor had to cut my salary because everybody started using water in bottles. Whose yacht is this, Leela? It's one of mine. Oh? Say, there's Peavy in a Commodore's house. Doesn't Mr. Peavy look nice in his brass button? Yeah. Pick up some flotsam, did you, Mrs. Ransom? <laughs> oh, Peavy, you know me. It's Throckmorton. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Peavy, what are you doing on this yacht? Well, Mrs. Ransom uses her little yacht to take me out to my big yacht. <laughs> I really missed the boat. Uh, Mrs. Ransom, don't go too close to that island. Judge Hooker owns it. Yeah, I thought I saw an old goat up on that mountain peak. <laughs> Good gracious, here comes the shore patrol. Somebody on there shaking his fist at you. Kill the sleeve! Uh oh, it's Marriage Williger. Kill the sleeve, what's the idea of hobnobbing with the bottled water people? Yeah, well, Mr. Mayor. Get back to your cubbyhole in the city hall. Yeah, I'm not so sure I want to go. Oh, yes, you do. You, Mr. Mayor, stop. Stop pulling me by my arm. Come on, Gildersleeve. Yeah, wait a minute. Stop. stop. You're pulling me off the yacht. Oh! Wake up, Mr. Gildersleeve. Wake up. Yeah, that's right. Wake up. Hey, what's right? Hey, what's right? Mr. You Gildersleeve, come yes. on, wake up. Yes, what do you... Oh, Bronco, what happened? 
Oh, I tried to waken you and you fell off the couch. Yeah, Unc, you were yelling at the mayor. You must have been dreaming. Well, if the mayor was in it, it was a nightmare. <laughs> hey, Unc, Bronco brought me the stock. Look. Please, Leroy, get it out of my face. Don't flaunt it. <laughs> Mr. Gildersleeve, when you came in the office this morning, I just couldn't resist having a little fun with you. What do you mean, Bronco? Well, if you really want to buy some of our stock, shares are still available. Well, teasing me, huh? Yeah, I should take you to task for this. Um, don't boot it again. Take the stock. <laughs> well, the old water department office looks a little shabby with this new stock laying on my desk. I guess I better get it in my strong box before somebody comes in. Uh, say, here's something I almost forgot I had. Some shares in that lost gold mine. I know who lost. Yeah, I wonder if I'll do any better this time with the bottled water company. Yeah, this office doesn't look as bad as I thought. Gildersleeve? Uh-oh, can't let the mayor see this. Ouch, close the lid on my hand. What are you doing? Uh, me? Gildersleeve, is that stock? Is that stock? Is it? Yes, well, yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Don't tell me you've invested in that new bottled water company. Yeah, but... It got back to me that you were trying to buy in. You did? And you, a trusted employee trying to get by with something. Now, Mr. Mayor, what's wrong with my owning a little stock in the company? What's wrong with it? You didn't let me in on it! I... <laughs> well, if we have any left, I'll call you. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Mom, did you know that a sandwich made with Velveeta, Kraft's famous pasteurized processed cheese food, is one of the most nourishing sandwiches you can make? That's true. Two ounces of Velveeta, the amount you usually put in a sandwich gives you more of milk's vital food values than you get in an 8-ounce glass of milk. Remember that when you're making sandwiches for your family. Make them with the cheese food that's not only delicious, but really nourishing, too. The cheese food of finest quality, Velveeta. What are you going to do tonight, Uncle? Well, I thought I'd listen to one man's family on the radio. Yeah? It's their 21st anniversary. Gosh, they've been around longer than I have. Yeah, it's a fine show. And let's not forget, we have an anniversary coming up next week, my boy. We do? Yep. Marjorie and Bronco's wedding anniversary. Uh, George, the years roll around pretty fast. Seems like only yesterday they were married. I bet it seems a lot longer to them. It... No, my boy, they're a very devoted couple. Oh, all that lovey-dovey telephoning during the day. Kissing each other when Bronco leaves in the morning. Kissing when he comes home at night. What a life. Leroy has a lot to learn, hasn't he? <laughs> Good night, folks. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Lillian Randolph, Dick Trenna, Shirley Mitchell, Stanley Farrar, and Dick Legrand. Musical compositions by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next week and every week for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. What goes into your favorite sandwich? Maybe it's roast beef or savory baked ham. Whatever your favorite, the perfect meat sandwich needs the perfect mustard. Kraft prepared mustard. For when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. You can take your choice of two kinds of Kraft mustard. Mild Kraft mustard is smooth and delicately spiced. Or if you like your mustard with extra pep, try Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added. Keep them both on hand and keep everyone in the family happy. Next time, get Kraft prepared mustard.
This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.